Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a quick recipe on how to make zucchini chips. And I had posted a picture when I made them a couple days ago and got quite a bit of feedback, people wanting to know the recipe, wanting to know everything about it. So I decided I would make a video this time just to be able to share it a lot easier instead of typing it out every single time. Um, but it's super easy. So go ahead and preheat your oven to 225 and then you will need a mandolin is what I'm gonna use, or you can use a knife if you are really good at cutting the same diameter. Because you want them to cook evenly. That's the only reason why you wanna keep them kind of the same. So I have it set at three millimeters right here, um, as you can see. Yes, there's a baby in the background, so you will hear commentary from him as well. Um, but then all you do is take your zucchini, you can peel the skin, you can leave the skin on, that's 100% up to you. I like to leave it on and Cut the tip off of it, so I just cut that part off. And then be very, very, very careful with the mandolin. I honestly am scared shitless of these things because how fast you can go and how quickly it can cut your finger off. But we're gonna be cautious and careful and then hopefully I will keep all my fingers. Um, but yeah, you just slice, slice, slice. I like to rotate it every once in a while just so it's kind of slicing evenly and then just pick up and move the ones that have just sliced. I know there's a way to lift this thing up and do fancy things with it, but I don't know how to do it, sorry. So I just have to keep doing this over and over and over again. Um, then you're getting down to the, the lower part of it, but just keep going, slicing it. And like I said, I move these out of the way. Um, and I like to keep it super simple with these. Addison, who is my five-year-old daughter, she loves them and the first time she had them, didn't even realize she was eating a vegetable. She thought she was just eating chips. And we're not much of a junk food family, but I mean, she's had chips before. It's not like she's sheltered from the world. But anyways, so she liked it. So it's kid approved too, and she's real picky. Then I just take these nice little thin slices and lay it out on a piece of parchment paper. That's backwards, whatever. <laughs> Uh, lay it out on a piece of parchment paper and I kind of just kind of tile them if that makes sense so I'll lay a, um, a line down and then I will lay another line down barely covering like here's the line then I'll lay another line down just kind of barely covering that one if that makes sense you'll see it'll make more sense when I show you what I've actually done right here but then just throw them all down the seasonings, like I said, I like to keep it super basic. I use my Himalayan sea salt, the, the pink one, and then just regular sea salt mixed together. This is like a half and half mixture. And then Mrs. Dash, garlic and herbs. There's also onion and herbs, there's a ton. You can make it whatever you wanna make it. But um, oven is set for 225 right now. And then I like to, instead of brushing olive oil onto them because I'm slightly impatient and have a baby. So um, what I do instead is just take them and this is what it looks like before I put the seasonings on. So you can kind of see what I was talking about with those lines and layering. But then I just take it and spray the olive oil on it. And you can kind of see where you've missed, catch those spots. But then I'll spray the olive oil on it and then just sprinkle the seasonings on top. So I've already done a sheet where I've sprinkled the seasonings and that's what it looks like. So then you're gonna put that into your oven and I started off at about an hour at 225 and then kind of keep an eye on it, see how they're doing. Maybe pick up a few, move a few if it looks like an edge or something is burning. But that's really all there is and I mean, the recipe calls to go to two hours but I've never had to go to two hours. But like I said, just play it by ear. I started off at an hour and go from there. But they are super easy, super tasty. I will post a picture of these when they're done cooking at the end of this video so you can check that out. Also, if you do like this video, then click that little button down there and hit like so I know that you like it. I'm gonna be making a couple more videos, but if you want to check out my website, I do have other recipes already posted on there. If you wanna check that out, I'll put the link at the end of this video as well and then it'll be down in the uh, description as well. Okay, so check me out, check my food out, try to make this, and I would love to know what you or your family thinks of it, like if they really liked it. If you have any other tips, I would love to hear that too, okay? So, enjoy these zucchini chips, and I will see you next time.